All right, welcome back to another edition. It's June 14th, 1945. Germany's been conquered, but I'm still refraining. I just want all the German units to be destroyed on the European mainland. And now to continue the attack on China. I mean, the attack... Okay, let's... Uh... The light cruiser. All right, there is destruction of another ship. Uh, let's see. Japanese have two left, and I know it's one submarine and one carrier. Uh, Amoy is open. Hong Kong's open. So let's get the army, start landing, oh I could have hit that carrier, wow that was stupid of me, oh I had a free shot at that carrier, oh no, I am a dumbbell and dumbkopf. Let's do this here. Oh, that stupid artillery. Knock it off. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Bring the Ninth Army up. To, I just beautiful shot. Let's uh bring this carrier up. Damn it! Gonna lose all my aircraft, but it's worth it. Amagi is sunk. Good. At least that port will become... All right, so Atlanta troops in China. There the American army is in China. And I think I can next turn bring in some headquarters and move on to Canton. See, that should distract some Japanese units now. All right, Bangkok is surrounded, and now I want to bring Australian tanks. Let's bring this headquarters up here. Australian tanks go up here. Let's go into Padang. And this one's just holding right now. Take Prabang. Reinforce. Ah, this Chengdu. My God, why did you have... That's why I wanted to base my bombers, you stupid Chinese. Can't believe they did that. Ah. Well, I guess there's no reason why I can't just bring a bunch of them over here. Let's, uh, what else is there to do in Europe?
take my ammo by one of course it's always just just one left you know just to make life difficult all right if I took Königsberg that would have been it all right let's continue the offensive Nothing there. Why is the supply zero? Because I don't have Belgrade, that's why. Capture Dubrovnik. Capture Tirana. Then I can move into Bulgaria. Just bomb this unit until nothing's left. I wonder if that French unit is capable of taking Trieste. No. I didn't know I had another shot. It's good. So all of Eastern Europe has been taken. I don't know. I'm not going to do much in here anymore. This The war is over. Just going to watch the Russians slaughter some more. Let's see what the Germans have. Germany's got 34 units left. They got nine aircraft and four. Sh and there is. That's an epic fail. All right, they're getting cruisers here. Smash that one. Another cruiser. There we go. Let's see how many ships do they have left. Germany has three. Japan has one, just one submarine. All right, the German army is decreasing. Japanese still have a lot of units.
operate some bombers this away. It's about time I do that. Nope, I think I can use I can use transport next to get him into Hong Kong. These Marines going. And let's unload and do an attack over here. this marine down these guys are gonna hit Iwo Jima I think that's correct all right American army has landed what is British army gonna do British Army is going to attack. They got better infantry weapons, but just no way. Let's just move down. Got two headquarters. All right, there's a Japanese fighter right there. All right, let's get these fighters. Let's engage the Japanese. Oh my God, I got better aircraft. What in the world, why am I losing? Let's go. I guess it must be uh, supply isn't that bad. Why is my range so horrible? Oh, this pisses me off. I wanted to put planes there. Uh, can I move a little? Uh, it's just, it's no supplies. No supplies. But at least I got plenty of fighters to engage. Well, let's bring him in to towards Vietnam. going to use them to bomb that. At least storm Bangkok and then move up and Take some more and just just 
Just bomb all these units. I mean, just destroy them completely through bombing. Let's bring this air power over here. Yeah, just bomb Bangkok and then just move up and take Rangoon. I think the Australian army can then start marching towards Hanoi. I think the Indians will be able to handle this with the assistance of the American bombers. Fighter and Huey. And All right, the British are going to be moving theirs, and this is this is ridiculous. Anyways, I mean, Romania is going to fall, Bulgaria is going to fall. Taking everything, and this unit's out of supply, so I really don't need to build anything. Let's see, purchase Great Britain. I really don't need all this stuff. I just need to maintain, you know, that's that's it. Let the money accumulate. I mean, all right, next turn. I do want to see the Japanese reaction to the landings in China. Doesn't seem to be anything in Romania. The city gets taken. Yeah, if I can stop Chungking from falling or CN. Just start, good, just keep on 
Trieste is going to fall. I don't think the Germans can reinforce it too well. Recapture Chengdu, please. A lot of Japanese air units. Still got to take Voronezh and Voroshilovgrad. This Well, the Soviets are going to finally have mobility. That's something that's been eluding that, that army for a long time. Oops. That's what I'm curious. What are they doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, there's been some diversions. Okay. Oh, now the Japanese are attacking my units there. I just need decent weather, that's all. I just need a little decent weather in Thailand. Oh, this is a full-scale assault. Not one bit worried about the American invasion.
Yeah, I'm going to destroy that whole Japanese army in Asia. I think there's some partisans maybe springing up. Yep, partisans. And an air unit. And India has another army. All right. And of course, as soon as I bring air units here, it's got to freaking rain. Let's go up and take this place. All right, Japanese headquarters destroyed. Let's reinforce this here. The problem in Asia, a lot of crappy weather and rain. Okay, and uh, this one. Get this one reinforced too. Alright, I gotta get a... Nineteenth Army. Let's get General MacArthur into Hong Kong. Let's transport this one. And now let's transport the other Vandegrift. All right, so I got a nice little army already there. And hopefully I can capture Fu Chao and then just move here. But that possibly stopped the invasion, the taking of Canton, uh, of Chongqing. So it's a nice little diversion. Nice major diversion, actually. Take another town here. Bangkok's besieged. Let's just move all these naval units. All right, now with the Philippines. Why did I put strategic bombers? Yeah, I missed. All 
All right, did that. Let's shift. Oh, come on. How did... Do I have any amphibious guys ready? So I got plenty of units attacking Devau. And what do we have? Yeah, Motoyama's got special forces. Let's get this guy. And let's get this guy. So these three are going to hit uh, Motoyama. May have some air units. I think I can move another unit. And hit Fucha. So I got a little army already landed in China. And there's the United States Army landing in China. Well, the Marines are going to continue on. Oh, that would have been nice if I had one little bit of stroke of good luck with weather. Okay, Luan Prung Bang is taken. Okay, I really can't use my destroyers for anything. Taipei is right open. I can possibly take that. Okay, they got kamikazes here, so let's go back here. Uh, what is the fleet going to do? Uh, I'm just going to keep the fleet over here. Got all these islands, so we're just going to keep on moving up and besiege Japan. Let's look at the reports. Japan only has one naval unit. The Germans have two. That's pretty bad. Uh, the German army still got 33 and 9 air units. So... All right, that's pretty much everything I can do with Asia. The landings have taken place. And now it's just a matter of getting the British and the Australians to come from this direction and hit the China and hit the Japanese on the flank here too and just roll them up. And then maybe the Soviets will join later and they can attack Manchuria and that should put the end but uh, the Japanese land forces in China must be defeated. I mean, this is just, they're just dangerous. They've wreaked so much havoc. And that's the only strength Japan really has. All right, let's take a look at Europe. Um, Sure, Trieste has been taken, and uh, Alright, I uh, got Bucharest. May as well hit him with everything I can. And go on away to Bulgaria. Okay, Dubrovnik's been taken. Um, 
Okay, it looks like Bulgaria is going to fall really quickly too. Uh, Romania has been taken. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's... Uh, Capture Königsberg. And I don't think there's any more ships left. Now let's just watch a little bit see what, what more happens here. This is going to be interesting. I want to crush everything here. Or at least Eastern Europe is not communist. All right, the British have violated the law, but they're back across the border. Back across the border. Back across the border. <laughs> the Russians can't say anything. these headquarters down here so it's just a matter of taking Bulgaria and crushing all these headquarter units and we are and the Soviets have already taken Odessa so there's just a few more places to capture uh, let's move some British air units to India Start a little offensive here. Bring these headquarters down and just bring more British bombers. This is going to be overkill. Once the weather clears, I mean, I'm just going to blast away. This is really overkill. There's plenty of fighters now that counter the Japanese. Now once Chengdu gets recaptured, And Europe is okay. Let's. I got another one. American. Let's operate that one. Let's 
Then I can take him for Legaspi and just work my way up here. So the southern Philippines have been taken. And U.S. Army in China. This is good. And I'm only going to spend on research now. There's no more units. Uh, United States. Amphibious warfare. Spying and intelligence. Logistics. Ground attack weapons. I mean... Insufficient funds. We spent everything. Okay, the British and the Commonwealth. And let's see, logistics. Let's just spend whatever we can. So much research. All right, that's good. Everything's been spent. And now I'll let the Soviet do a little bit, and then I'm just going to capture all these other Axis nations and then, you know, finish off Berlin. It's really sadistic, but. Like I said, I want all the German land forces to get crushed. Okay, Japan, I mean, China, don't fret. Don't abandon Chongqing because I am coming to the rescue. I mean, the diversion has been created. It has a breakthrough right there. Oh, that one town is ridiculous. Gomel has fallen. Okay, Minsk.
Look at all these Soviet units is developed. It's going to be overkill. All right, goodbye, Romania. And there's two German units. They're going to be out of supply. Good partisans need to act up. I really like to bomb the Chinese. Unfortunately, my aircraft are in bad weather. I need good weather. Take Bangkok. King can still fall to danger. If I take Fu Chao, then I got some fighters for Australia and some new American units. All right, they're going to be heading to China. All these are going to be transporting to China soon. So let's see what I can do. I want to capture Fu Chao. Shift over here. Need to reinforce that. All right, I I got Fu Chao. 
There's another port that's all very important. As long as the Japanese don't do much here. Uh, oh, I got some good weather. All right, captured Mindanao. That's good. Get ready for Iwo Jima. Got three of them right here. Let's put them back here on this side. Covered with a destroyer. I don't want any surprises. Where's that armor? Okay, oh, that's that marina. There it is. I already moved it in, so I'm going to have to bring in some more units. I like to get the airborne units in. Uh, crappy weather again. All right, Bangkok. Okay, Bangkok has fallen. What do I do? I want to go up to Chiang Mai here. Okay, well, that's another one gone. And uh, the Japanese are going to really enforce. Fortunately, I have the bad monsoon wind. Alright, making a little headway here. Now if I can hit Mandalay. Alright, the Australian Army has captured Bangkok and I think now they can start moving up to Hanoi. Let's leave everything alone. I need to bring some more American units uh, towards China. I don't have to do any amphibious. I can just go straight across to China. I'm gonna take a couple turns, but Transport. Okay, two more units, that should be enough. Transport over here. Upgrade the fighters. And let's see what I can do in Europe.
Okay, Tirana has fallen. Look at all these juicy airplanes. Ah, uh, let's see, what do I do? All right, there's some headquarters right there, and now let's go for Bulgaria. Put this unit in Bucharest, and I guess Next turn, Bulgaria will fall. Look at all the air units in here. They really can't do much other than get destroyed. Go back. All right, that's pretty much it here. I mean, I'm bored. Uh, the Soviets. Yeah, I'll let them attack one more time. This is it. I'm going to take Berlin. The Soviets are almost home, so yeah, that's that's it. They're there. I mean, it's only straggling units. They they done their job. They got one more turn to kill some Russians, and then that's it. All the air units have been moved. I don't think I'm gonna need any more. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need any more units. Uh, I captured the entire Reich. The war is over. Did capture enough, you know, it's just mostly headquarters and a few straggling units. So I, I did capture Germany in its entirety with the Western Allies. Uh, Eastern Europe belongs to the West. Uh, the Soviets have no say, you know, they can have their land back. But, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, that's why uh, Germany is going to surrender after the Soviet turn and then... Uh, I really don't want the Soviets to attack Japan. I want to take the Japanese on their own, too. I'm greedy. Just like I took out the Germans, I want to take out the Japanese on my own. So Let's see what I can purchase. Is the United States anymore? Oh, well, I can do heavy tanks. Anything useful on the Asian mainland? Should be enough. Let's see the morale reports. Yeah, Germany's down to 18, which is just a bunch of headquarters and straggling units. Eight air units, uh, two and one. So it's time for them to surrender. Yeah, once I take Bulgaria, that's the end of all Axis units. That part of the world. Uh, let's take a look at the graphs here. What is Japan's national morale? They have 53. They're still doing okay. China's a 42. Germany's a 45, but it's going to surrender. US 85, UK 81. Soviets are at 89, so yeah, they're, they're all excited, so... 
All right, the main thing is, is oh, if Chung King falls, I'm going to be really upset. But I'm taking away supplies from the Japanese, so. All right, so until next time, thank you for watching.